So, after episode 5 in which Billy and Jade found out about their supposedly meaningless past, and, well, th that, that's it. Welcome back to episode 6. Let's get into it. So Albert realises that the journalist is probably bad news, as the journalist is aware of Albert's daughters. So he offers him a way out via self forever sleep, if he answers if anybody at Umbrella is aware of his daughter being bit, or any of their escapades that have caused a number of problems at the Umbrella facility. They should really get better network security, I'm just saying. Which leads us to the sponsor of this video, Nord VP- <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. So after Evelyn takes Albert in for suspected espionage, we are taken back to the future, to Billy and Jade. After some painfully generic drama scenes, Billy lets Jade go. Why? Well, like in most of the best shows of 2022, we don't know. And I never fucking told. Because fuck you. That's why. Conveniently, all of her confiscated gear is unguarded, and none of the guards seem to wonder why the captive fugitive is running off at full speed with a load of her gear. And also, conveniently enough, a few minutes away in Calais are a crew from her home base that have been searching for her. Even though she was totally alone on a research trip for six months, and the last they spoke to her, she was in London, over 90 miles away. We're 35 minutes in, by the way. This is all that's happened of note. I mean, if you consider utter fucking bollocks anything of note. But yes, this episode is mostly about life in 2036 aboard the vessel that Jade and the survivors are experiencing, which basically means the first 30 minutes of this episode doesn't need to exist. I mean, the entire show doesn't need to exist, but yeah, this episode is 99% filler and 1% rage-inducing bollocks. So after 45 minutes of utter drivel, they actually discover something rather interesting, the biopsy that they conducted on the tissue from the throat of the screeching monster we saw in the last episode, which seems to control the basic bitch zombies, comes back and there are two important enzymes to study. One of these enzymes repels zombies, the red one. The other enzyme attracts zombies, the green one. So in theory, you could use the red enzyme as a cure or a repellent and the green enzyme to target something for the zombies to attack. This is of course a fucking huge revelation which would have endless applications if managed well. Umbrella of course want this information to create a super weapon, whereas Jade just wants to make a cure. This is about as scientific and resident evilish as it gets. Is that a word? Fuck it, I'm going with it. But yeah, my question is why we have waited five episodes for this to finally happen. We've had five episodes of pointless, boring filler to get to this point. The show should have started right now. Their next course of action is to get a live test subject, and instead of introducing the zombie to a controlled stimulus, like she did with the rabbit in the first episode, she decides to stick her fucking hand right in the zombie's face, because the stick with blood on it is clearly far too technologically advanced for these utter invalids. The zombie then breaks free because it would seem the restraints were made of blue tack. She then chases the girl down the hallway, and then eats some bitch. At no point during this chick being eaten does the little girl seem particularly scared. I mean, she's never seen a zombie apparently, yet she sees one eating her friend and doesn't react at all. We then end the episode with Wesker imprisoned in cells adjacent to more Weskers, confirming what fans of the series already knew. He's a clone. This is treated like a grand revelation, but if this show is apparently made for the fans, then why would they treat it this way? We already know Wesker has many, many clones. I mean, this is of course just even more proof that this dog shit was not made for fans like you and I, but for the mainstream bellends that couldn't see a shit show if it was staring them in the face, which if they were watching this show, it would be. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you are all doing well, and as always, take care.